For the second time in as many months, former police sergeant Winston Bastier is complaining about being the victim of questionable policing. The retired police officer says his children and grandchildren were the latest targets of police harassment on Saturday as they sat under a tree near the family's home. On Saturday evening, I left my children sitting near my home by the roadside. It was one daughter, one son, and two of my grandchildren and a friend. So I went to my other home in Kako. About one hour after, my grandson called me and said, Papa, look, some people are in a white van. They have masks, they're in plain clothes. The van is, I don't know if it's police, but it's not written. And they're roughing them, they're searching them, and so on. And they say, we cannot sit by the house, by the home. So I rushed down to see what's happening. Bastia said he returned just in time to see the vehicle identified by his children leaving the area. So when I came there, the children explained to me what happened. I said, there you I started quarreling. You mean to tell me you're all sitting there, whoever is coming to tell you, all, they can't sit there, they say they think it's police. I said, the police preventing you all from sitting by your home. Whilst I was saying that, I saw the same jeep came back. So I, I knew one police in the jeep. I said, but what is wrong if the children sit in there? They told me they're loitering. So I said, you, do you know the definition of loitering? The children are sitting by the home. I said, look, all by the road, you all people are sitting. You all didn't arrest anybody. So they said they found drugs. So I told them, okay, if, they, if you all find drugs, but remember the, 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 the government gave them an amount they can consume. So they say, well, okay, this is a little packet. I'll take them down, you know, and then we'll, I ask them if they have anything to weigh. They say they'll take it to the station along with them. According to Bastier, little did he realize that things were about to get a lot worse, with the police, he alleges, subjecting him to a barrage of insults and serious threats. One police with masks, plain clothes, came to me, towards me and said, I, are you a makume? That's his exact word. I told him, you're insulting me. If I insult you, you want to arrest me. So another one stood in the back of the vehicle, back seat, and said to me, I hate mate, I cannot wait to shoot him. So another one who was sitting by him said, he called my name, Mr. Bastia, all the crime that are happening in Viewfort, you're the one, you're the cause of it. So I say, okay, well, if I, if I'm the cause, you, if, if I'm the cause, take me to court, do what you have to do, you know? And we started talking and, you know, vexation. They left. And immediately about half an hour after a Mac police vehicle passed, they just toot us. They didn't tell us we were loitering, you know. So I told them, are you all picking on my children now? You all can't get me yet because I took a police to court. So you all are picking on my children to get to me. So when I get, get when I involve myself, you all will say I'm interfering in, in your duty. News Force sought to contact the police on the matter, but our efforts were unsuccessful. Bastien says he spoke with one senior police officer and the commissioner of police to complain about the harassment from those who pledged to protect and serve. He says he suspects the persecution by the police stems from his decision to have an earlier dispute with law enforcement settled by the courts. Stanley Lucien for the HGS News Force.